Chris, speak on it. Ladies, it's so important for us to allow God to make a man out of him before we try to go and make a husband out of him. A lot of times God enlists us into a relationship to be a help meet, a helper, but we go ahead and become the head coach. God done laid a foundation, a blueprint for the man that says, I want him to be this way, phase one, phase two, phase three, and he done broke it down and said in certain seasons, in certain seasons, I'm going to pour out this into the man. I'm going to pour out love. I'm going to pour out discipline. I'm going to pour out protection, provider, all these other things. But we get ahead of God and be like, mm -mm. you know what? I got my vision. And you know what? I'm a developer. I'm a creator. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and mm, I don't really like this blueprint because it's not fitting into my vision. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go change a couple things. And above all, the man thinks that you're with him for the fact that you love him for who he is but then along the way you begin to weigh him down with your visions with your expectations of who you want him to be and after a while it becomes distant and some women right now in relationships is like I don't understand why my husband is so distant from me. I don't understand why we're going through the situation what we're going through. It's because right now you're trying to make him into somebody or you done forced him down the aisle and it was untimely it was too soon the man didn't even get all he needed from god so he can't be all of what you want him to be you done had all these visions from pinterest oh you know what i love that you know what i gotta get him some hard bottoms i gotta make sure he get his suit together oh yeah we gonna be just like a power couple just like jay-z and beyonce that's gonna be us we gonna be a power couple you know what babe um on wednesdays i need you to post a picture of me because i know you love me i know you buy me flowers at home but you know if the rest of the world doesn't know what i mean like what does it really mean you know you need to show forth how much you love me and we're doing this to god you know so we need to be a reflection of god you know god is love and at this point the man is like i don't even really like social media uh it's okay just give me your password i'll make sure that i i put everything up this is the picture we're going to use anyway and the man is like okay they become ta you become their taskmaster you become their puppet and you take god out of the situation you become a God, and now you in a relationship, a marriage where the person is dead inside because you've killed out everything that God has sold into them. You done plucked everything that God wanted them to be up. And now you wondering, babe, I don't understand why we're at such a distance. I don't know why you don't love me the way you used to love me. And it's because you don't you don't took away the man's happiness. You don't took away the God inside of the man. And as women, we're very prideful. When we make a mistake, is we won't say, hey, I'm sorry about that. A lot of times we would just try to love it off. No, if you are in a situation like that and you taking a man from his purpose because of your vision, because of your expectation from him, now is the time to cut it off and realize, listen, I understand that I was supposed to be a help meet unto you, but I done got ahead of God and I done had all my visions laid out about being a power couple, about being married at a certain age. I want to be married at 25. I want to have owned my first home at 27. By 30, I want to have my first child. By 35, we need to be uh, purchasing our second home. And this man is walking around with all of this weight and it's turning into anger and it's reflecting into the relationship. So this is going to benefit two types of women. The woman who is in pursuit of marriage and has a time limitation. You got 25, 27, 30, 35, you got it all planned out, but you've never consulted God on your plan. And now you've taken somebody out of their purpose, just bloop, drop them on into your vision board from Pinterest. That's crazy. You can't do that. And this is also going to benefit the woman who is now married. You've taken a vow. You've taken an oath. And you've been Eve. You, you did something and it was untimely. You bit the fruit and then made your husband bite it too. Made him walk on down the aisle when God had not ordained it in that season. This is going to benefit you too. A lot of times as women, we have to come back and say, you know what, I was wrong. God, before you, I became the head coach when you enlisted me to be the help me when I was supposed to love, cherish, and enhance this man, not change his identity. So if these are you, this you identify in any way with this type of situation, it's time for us to take down our selfish ambitions. Allow God to finish pouring into that man before you trying to build him up into the husband that he will never be to you simply because you've been impatient and it's not the right season. Love you much. Mwah.